I am your father and I love you even as I love my son Jesus. For in Jesus, my love for you is revealed. He is the exact representation of my being. He came to demonstrate that I am for you and not against you and to tell you that I am not counting your sins. Listen. Jesus died so that you and I could be reconciled. His death was the ultimate expression of my love for you. I gave up everything God loved that I might gain your love. If you receive the gift of my son Jesus, you receive me. And nothing will ever separate you from my love again. Come home and I'll throw the biggest party heaven has ever seen. I have always been father and will always be father. My question is, will you be my child? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. How long have you heard that message? How many times have you heard that message? Well, God is loving. Yes, he is. But he's a God of judgment. He's a, he's a holy God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, you know, in him there's no darkness at all. Hallelujah. So he, he, he will not allow sin in his presence. So when you stand before him, you're going to, if you're guilty, the only way you can be made righteous is through Jesus. When you reject Jesus, then you're going to be guilty. So you got to believe in God to receive God. You have to believe in Jesus Christ to receive Jesus Christ. The Bible say he is the precious gift of God. The, a gift is given unto you. All you have to do is just open up your heart and let him in. And he will come into you. He will have a personal relationship with you. He is your father. Jesus Christ wants to have a personal relationship with each and every one of you. But the problem is, is your sin. You are rejecting the word of God. You are turning your backs on God. But listen, God will never turn your, his back on you. The Bible says he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He's there all the time. His hand is stretched out still. Let me tell you tonight that hell is not a cuss word, but it's a real place. Tonight hell has men and women Boys and girls, rappers, basketball stars, like the one that died recently, Kobe Bryant. There you go. Lovers of flesh. He loved fame. He loved the glory. Everybody looked at him as a god. What about George Floyd? Every black man, every white man looks up to him like he's a god. He's a human being. He's not God Almighty. The only God Almighty I know is the man named Christ Jesus. Time is running out, DC. Where will you spend eternity? Where will you spend eternity? Some of you guys are just wasting your lives. Smoking it up, drinking it up, partying it up, thinking that you got all the time in the world to get right with God. In reality, you don't. Those things are leading you to the pit of hell. You need to let it go. You need to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so he can set you free. Because if you stay bound in those things, you're going to wake up in a place you don't want to go. Hell is more real than you think. It's a place of weeping. Wailing and gnashing of teeth, pure torment, fire. God has done everything He can to keep you from going to that place. But your heart is so hardened that you don't care about God at all. And that's the reason why you're going to end up going to hell. Because God wants to save your soul. Jesus Christ is your very creator he's your savior john 1 this is what it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god now the book of john 
it speaks of Jesus Christ in this way because it wants to speak of Jesus Christ that he is God himself right but the scripture in Hebrew says that listen even though he was God he made himself of no equal to God but subject himself so that he could come down in the flesh in the in the order of a man for you and I that he may attain and be exalted that right now he's interceding for you and me praying even as we stand here we are praying for you Amen. we are we are telling you what the spirit is saying we're not here to speak physical words we're here to speak spirit words because the word of God is what spirit because the author is what spirit 